What a tremendous honor for a great friend of mine and a great baseball person and a great family man and just the just what everybody wants in a, a baseball coach, Jim Case, uh, honoring him by naming this field after him, a stadium after him. I'm anxious to see him and see the stadium when we play uh, the Jacksonville State Ball Club this spring, but uh, uh, I'm just happy for him, happy for his family, everybody that supports Jacksonville State Baseball. They've made the right stadium name for the right person. All right, enjoy the day. Congratulations, Coach Case. Uh, I usually call you Jim because I have no dearer or closer friend in, in uh, the coaching business than, than you. Um, and I'm so happy for you and so proud of you and happy to be shooting this at Young Memorial Field where you spent so many years establishing a, a great legacy of UAB baseball. Uh, and then, of course, we spent our time together in Starkville and, and now you've just done such an incredible job at at Jacksonville State and, and uh, you know how much I root for you and, and your program uh, you know how much I care about you and Jan and, and the girls and and uh, I just couldn't be happier or, or prouder of you and uh, you know with all my heart thank you for for being my friend uh, I love you uh, I'm always there for you look forward to bringing the Blazers over to the beautiful brand new Jim Case Stadium this spring uh, couldn't happen to a better person. Uh, congratulations, my good friend. Hey, Coach. What a great day in Jacksonville State baseball history. So happy for you and the program and everything that, that you've accomplished. Uh, thank you so much for what you instilled in us as players, but not only uh, as players, but as men. Uh, to the players, uh, you're very blessed to play for somebody uh, like Coach Jim Case, and uh, look forward to following you guys. Good luck. Just hit my last ball into the water. I uh, thought this would be a good idea to test out the new graphics on the Jumbotron. Uh, when I think of Coach Case, uh, you know, it, Coach Case makes me think of baseball, uh, which is saying a lot. Um, I've been around uh, the game of baseball for a long time, and uh, that's the type of impact Coach Case has made on me. Uh, and I, I think every player that's ever played for him would say the same, and as well as, you know, Jacksonville State University. Uh, Coach Case is a guy who could coach at any level, in my opinion. Uh, you could put him, uh, you know, in Game Seven of the World Series, and he would give the team the, the best opportunity possible to win. And uh, you know, Jacksonville State is beyond lucky to have had and kept a coach as, as great as Jim Case uh, in this past in these past years. And uh, looking forward to seeing uh, Coach Case win some more games for the Gamecocks uh, in the new stadium and uh, looking forward to the 2018 season. Hey Coach, thank you for everything that you have done for me and continue to do for me. I will forever cherish the four years we spent together. You taught us not only the game of baseball, but how to grow as men. And I will forever be thankful for that. Thanks again, Coach, and congrats. Coach Case, first off, uh, I just want to say I feel honored to have been asked to make this video for you on uh, your special day. Um, just want to say thank you for everything that you did for me while I was at JSU on and off the field and uh, for the relationship that we continue to have today. Um, to me, one of your best qualities was always your honesty. Um, and as a player, sometimes it was not the easiest thing to hear, whether after a practice or a meeting. Um, I never left guessing what Coach Case or how Coach Case felt, um, whether it was a performance, a practice, or about attitude. Um, but in the end, it made me always want to work harder, and I valued that. Um, you're one of the many reasons that I'm proud to be a Gamecock, and uh, on this special day, it couldn't happen to a better person. Um, you deserve all the success. And I think I speak for everyone when um, I say we couldn't wait for this day to finally get here. Um, we love you, Coach, and just wanted to say from the Palmers, Congratulations! Jim and Jan, congratulations to you and your family. You can be very proud of having this stadium named after you. You've built your program by prioritizing people ahead of things but this beautiful Jim K Stadium will always be a reminder of not that you are a winner, but how you define success 
and how you went about achieving it. I am extremely honored to have been a part of that. Congratulations. Congratulations, Coach Case, and thank you so much for making my time at JSU enjoyable. I feel extremely lucky to have played for somebody that values the person in the jersey as much as their abilities. I really value my playing experience, and I don't think it would have been as memorable without such a great leader. Thank you so much for that, and congratulations on this honor. Congratulations, Coach Case, on this well-deserved honor. Not only were you my best coach, you were my greatest mentor. Go Gamecocks. One of my earliest impressions of Coach Case comes from a conversation he and I had before I even became part of the program. And in that conversation, he outlined five rules that he expected of all of his players. And they were really simple. Uh, study hard, go to class, practice hard, play hard, strive for excellence, be first class in everything you do, and treat others the way you want to be treated. And I haven't swung a bat for Coach Case in 10 years, but I can tell you that I haven't forgotten those rules because they go beyond just the game of baseball, and, and, and he held me to that standard in a very formative time in my life, 18 to 22 years old. That's, that's a really important period. Um, I've never been lectured by a baseball coach on why it's important to be a good person, um, why helping others is important, um, what's going to matter in 50 years and what's not going to matter in 50 years, um, why uh, how I live my life is a reflection on uh, my family, my parents, and their name. Um, you know, you get a lot of that with Coach Case. And uh, I can't tell you how many uh, ball games uh, that kind of coaching helped us win, but I can tell you I'm a better person uh, because of it. Uh, I played three seasons for Coach Case. Um, he deserved everything we gave him, and my only regret is that uh, we couldn't give him more. Um, he's the type of person that has a lasting impact on others around him. Um, he makes you want to be better. He, uh, he raises the standard for you, and in turn, you raise the standard for yourself. And when you're around that long enough, that becomes part of your life. And it's not just how you play the game of baseball, it's how you live. Um, you learn life lessons from Coach Case. Um, how to be calm under pressure, make good decisions when things aren't good, um, you know, do the right thing even when it's the hard thing, um, do the best you can all the time, uh, even on the little stuff, even on things that you think maybe nobody will see or notice. Um, you do your best because it's the right thing and that's what being a good person is. Um, all those things you know, don't you know, show themselves in a win-loss record and you can't find them in a stat sheet anywhere. Um, the only way you see that is in the way you live your life and you, you look at the lives of those that are around Coach Case and you see that and it, it, it makes sense. Um, he leaves others better than he finds them and that's part of where he gets his joy. I, I think he you know, is, gets fulfillment out of helping others uh, do better and become their best and um, that's not baseball, that's life. And you know, some of those reasons are the reasons that I am, am so thankful for the relationship that I have with Coach Case uh, and for the, the three years that I got to, got to play for him. And by the way, in Cunningham's video, he's not wearing any pants. Well, Coach Case, I guess if you're watching this video, then a congratulations is in order. Um, I can't think of anyone that's more deserving of this stadium dedication than you are. And uh, you know, while I'll try not to be jealous of the incoming students and their opportunity to play in such a nice stadium, you know, I'm sure that you'll you'll still uphold some of the the long-standing traditions that you have as a coach of the long fall scrimmages and the early morning conditionings, especially in the practice gym, because those were by far the worst. Because um, I know for me, as you know, as a player, that you always knew the right buttons to push to challenge me as not just a player but also a man. And I think that's what makes you know you special as a coach. And you know, I've been fortunate enough to continue our relationship, you know, from before I stepped on the JSU campus, and while I played for you, and then after, as a uh, as I had an opportunity to play, um, you know, in pro ball, you know, we, we've we've stayed in touch, and more than staying in touch, you know, you've you've become someone that I respect uh, deeply. Um, you've become a mentor of sorts and a friend. 
And uh, if, you know, because of that, you know, I, I, I can't congratulate you enough on, on everything that you've accomplished and everything that you'll continue to accomplish. So again, congratulations. Hey coach, I couldn't think of me one more deserving of this honor than you. You've done so much for this program and for all the players that have come through Jacksonville State. Congratulations on this great achievement. Hey coach, congrats on such an unbelievable honor. I can't express how happy I am for you and your baseball program. I also want to say thank you for everything you've done for me in my life. I'm proud to be a Gamecock, and I'm proud to say I played for Jim Case. Go Cox. Hey coach, just want to tell you congratulations. What a huge honor it is and how much time you've put into this. Uh, really proud for you, really proud for the program. I appreciate everything you always did for me, and I appreciate you making me a Gamecock. Hey coach, congratulations on a big week and weekend as we honor you this week and the, the new stadium being named after you. Nobody more deserving, uh, in my opinion, uh, the many things that you have done and sacrificed uh, for this baseball program uh, the last 17 years. And that was 17 years ago. Um, people ask me all the time where I went to school and I'm always quick to say, hey, I played baseball at Jacksonville State University for Coach Jim Case. And I'll tell you something else, I was his first recruit. In fact, uh, I think I was uh, his first in-home visit. At that time, we were living in Alexander City, Alabama, and that was 17 years ago. Um, you may not know, we almost almost didn't go to Jacksonville State. We were I just moved in, me and uh, my longtime friend Clint Carroll, roommates, and played Little League Baseball together, and we were excited. And we got that phone call to come up to the field for a little throw-around session. And so, okay, yeah, I get to meet some guys and throw the ball around a little bit. And we got up there, and I mean, that was probably one of the worst conditioning, running experiences. Wow, that was incredible. We sat on my truck, the tailgate of my truck after that, and we kind of looked at each other and were like, man, I don't know if I can do this. And Clint looked at me and said, man, I don't know if I can either. But... We stuck it out. You had a way of uh, uh, stretching us uh, physically and mentally to getting us to do things that we didn't think we could do. Uh, a couple of things I still hear all the time, even though it was 17 years ago that I played at Jacksonville State, things I hear all the time that helped us win a lot of baseball games. Uh, it really started on that first day of conditioning. And uh, things that I hear you say that I didn't really understand at the time or how important they were, but I did as, as my career uh, progressed and that was you know always run through the line even if we were just stretching you know doing five lines always finish through the line and if somebody didn't we had to go back and do it again um, always run hard through first base even if you just hit the ball back to the pitcher um, always run hard through first base even though he's going to throw you out 99 times out of 100 you run hard all the way through first base because that's how the game is played and we're going to play the game the right way all the time and that was Another thing that you taught us is that we're going to do things the right way all the time. And then class wins out. Uh, we're not only going to win games, we're going to play hard, but we're going to do it with class. And class wins out. And those things helped us win a lot of baseball games. They did. But you told us something else, too, something else very important. You said, just like during a baseball season, how you will encounter bumps in the road, you said you will also encounter bumps in the road in your life. And I think at the time, a lot of us maybe didn't understand. Uh, you told us that one day we'll grow up and we'll get jobs and with any luck, a few of us might get married and have families and that we will encounter bumps in the road um, during our life. And I think I've lived enough life now to understand that. And I've encountered my share of bumps in the road. Um, and I, those things do apply. And they are important that when you encounter bumps in the road, whether within your, your marriage or your job or even with your relationship with God, finish, finish all the way through. Do things the right way all the time. Take care of your business and class wins out. I still hear those things. I still hear them in my mind. I still say them to myself and I'm teaching them also to my children. Those things that you taught helped us win a lot of baseball games and they're very valuable. And as I apply them to my life, they are invaluable. I will have them forever, and I thank you for that. Once again, congratulations uh, on a big weekend as we honor you and your 
accomplishments on and off the field. Thank you for your sacrifice for this program. And may God continue to bless you and your family. I would like to thank Coach Case for all of his years of service to JSU. You have been a true blessing to this program and to myself. As I reflect back on the time that I spent with Coach Case in my playing days, I think of the many things that he taught me not on the field, but off the field. I can think of situations in which he extended me grace when I didn't deserve it. He showed me love by correcting my mistakes and pushing me to be a better person. And to think of the mercy that was granted when I did things that he told me not to do. As I look back at my years and the things that he taught me and our team, I believe Coach was doing more than preparing us to play baseball. He was preparing us to become men, leaders, husbands, and fathers. For these things that he taught me, I am forever grateful. I would like to thank his wife, Jan, who made many sacrifices to allow Coach to spend the time and energy that is required to have a successful program. I would like to thank his daughters, Catherine and Elizabeth, for sharing their dad with us and allowing us to have a father figure to look up to while we were away from home. I know your family has made many sacrifices and those sacrifices do not go unnoticed as our families are now reaping the benefits of a man who has poured his life into his players. Coach, you are a man that many of us have and do look up to. Many of us have tried to emulate the characteristics of the godly man that you are. You will never know how much you mean to all of us. I just want to th thank you for giving your life away to the men of Jacksonville State University's baseball program. Thank you, Coach. Hey guys, my name is Todd Hornsby. I had the privilege to play for Coach Case for three years. Coach Case, you've had tremendous success on the field at Jacksonville State. But I think your greatest accomplishments are something that goes unseen most of the time. You helped guide me into becoming the man I am today. You taught me how to push forward in life, deal with adversity, and to strive to be first class in everything I do. Looking back at my time at Jacksonville, it's easy for me to see that you were preparing me for life off the baseball field. This is a well-deserved honor and I'm proud of you. I cannot thank you enough for the preparations you gave me to succeed in life. Congratulations, Coach, and go Gamecocks. Hey, Coach Case, Ben Waldrop here, class of 2012. Just wanted to reach out and tell you congratulations on the stadium dedication. Today's an amazing day for yourself, your family, all your past players, and all your present players. Uh, I know this one's been a long time coming, so congratulations, and uh, thank you for all you've done. You've built an awesome tradition over the years, you've built a winning tradition, and even more importantly is the tradition you've built off the field. Uh, you've had such a huge impact on my life, as well as hundreds of other lives that came through there. Um, I remember standing on that same field, and you'd tell us that you were raising more than baseball players. You were raising sons that you wanted to make their parents proud. You were raising men that were going to grow up and be good husbands, good fathers, and those are morals and characteristics you instilled on myself and every other man that came through that program. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you for all you've done for the young men over the years. Thank you all for all you've done for Jacksonville State. And thank you for all you're going to do in the future. So congratulations on the stadium dedication, Coach Case. Go Gamecocks. Hey, guys. Blake Siegman here. Today's a special day we get to celebrate a new stadium and an outstanding coach. When you start to measure the greatness of a coach, people start to look at wins and losses. But I think one of the key factors in all that is how well the coach is able to prepare young players for life after baseball. Coach Case, you never fell short in that aspect. You taught us how to fight through adversity, be accountable, and not worry about things we can't control. You said it best by saying this. It's not what you do when people are watching that counts. It's what you do when people are not watching that counts. Coach Case, you've been such a positive influence on my life. I wouldn't be the man I am today without your guidance. I can't think of a more deserving individual. I'm proud for you. Congratulations, and go Gamecocks. Hey, Coach. JB out here in Houston. Hey, I just wanted to congratulate you and Gamecock Nation for the beautiful stadium that's being built. I know you're excited, and everybody is too. I look forward to seeing the finished product when I come home for Thanksgiving. So uh, I cannot wait. Also, I want to thank you so much for everything you've done for me. My four years of playing and one year of coaching, I sure do appreciate it. So I look forward to coming home. Go Gamecocks. Hey, everyone. Congratulations on a big accomplishment in opening the new stadium. I'm excited to, to see it one day. I wish I could be there with you this weekend. 
Uh, my name is Matt McLaughlin. I played for Coach Case from 2007 to 2011. Uh, I just wanted to congratulate him on a great accomplishment and a great honor that is well deserved. And uh, the one thing I'll always remember Coach Case for is uh, really taking a, uh, as some some would call it, a snot-nosed kid and uh, helping him grow into an adult. And, uh, and really, a lot of the lessons I learned while I was at Jack State have helped me in my career and my personal life. And um, you know, he helped me realize that there's a lot more to life than uh, than just baseball. So it's great to be to accomplish great things and work hard on the baseball field. But if you're not taking care of the things at home, you know, what good was all of those lessons that you learned? So I'm uh, very grateful for my time and uh, for Coach Case's family for letting us have him for so long. Uh, I know that that's a big sacrifice as well. Uh, so we, we want to thank them and hope that they are as, as proud and, uh, and know that they are as big a part of this as Coach Case is himself. So thank you all. I hope to see the stadium very soon and uh, go Gamecocks. What does Coach Case mean to me? Well, he helped me get one of these, so that means a lot. Also, I know if I have to be somewhere by 6 a.m. that I can get there on time. But seriously, Coach Case means the world to me. Coming out of high school at a time where you're trying to find yourself and grow as a person, what a great role model Coach Case was to be able to spend time with every day at the field. I was very fortunate to be able to be around somebody with that level of integrity and character and to be able to learn from them. Coach Case also pushed me like he pushes all of his players. And I think it's because he sees something in us. As a player, you trust Coach Case because you know that he's got your best interests in mind and he's going to be there for you. I think the banners in the outfield only tell part of the story. That's the on-the-field success that everybody sees and knows about. I'd be willing to say Coach Case has had just as much success, if not more success, in the off-the-field impact he's had on his players and their lives, which is really saying something. Um, I could not be more excited for you, Coach, um, to have this new facility and to have the field named after you. What an honor, and there's nobody more deserving out there. Thanks for everything, Coach. Hey, Coach Case, just want to say congratulations for this long-awaited, much-deserved stadium. It's been a long time coming, but just looking at the pictures, i got to say it's got to be worth the wait. Um, Coach Case just does things the right way, on the field, off the field, um, holds people accountable, whether it's his coaches, himself, his players, and I think the athletic department as a whole hold it, holds everybody accountable and just does things the right way and makes sure everybody else is doing things the right way. Um, this new stadium, it's going to help with recruiting, which you do a great job of anyways, but it's only going to help. And I'm excited to see the impact that it has on the program as a whole. I, I'm, nobody is more deserving. Um, I, you've had a lot of on-the-field success, but if you really want to see a successful coach, look at what his players uh, do after school and how they perform in the classroom. And I've never seen another program. It's one thing for some of the other sports to have the GPAs that they do, but to have 35 guys uh, between 18 and 22 consistently have a GPA that the baseball program has, I just think it it speaks volumes to Coach Case uh, and his impact that he has on his players. I know he has the same impact on the players' families, uh, the coaches and their families, and the community as a whole. So like I said, congratulations, Coach. Couldn't happen to a better guy, better program. We're excited to see the next steps to come. Coach Case, congratulations on the new stadium. It looks amazing. It's very much deserved. It's really cool to see you be rewarded for all the effort and the years uh, that you've put into the program uh, to get a stadium that's as beautiful as this one. It's really cool to see. Coach, I want to thank you for taking a chance on me um, all those years ago and allowing me to be a part of the JSU family. Those years are part of my life that I obviously will never forget. And the lessons that you instilled in all of us, the, the winning mentality, uh, the mindset, all those things are still having an impact on our lives today, and I want to thank you. And I look forward to watching you guys uh, this season and the many years to come. Uh, best of luck. Go Gamecocks. Hello, Coach Case. Bert Smith checking in here, 2006-2010, JSU Gamecock. Hey, we're at the stadium dedication, Jim K Stadium. I like it. It has a ring to it. I want to tell you congratulations. I think it's well-deserved, and I cannot wait. To see you guys in action. I can't wait to see you coaching in this beautiful stadium. Hey, I also want to tell you thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to play for you as a JSU game cop. The four years I spent here helped shape me become the man that I am today. 
And I really want to thank you and tell you that I appreciate everything you did for me from being a coach, a friend, a mentor, anything that I needed at the time, those four years and even after. So thank you, Coach Case. You mean the world to me. And again, congratulations. Can't wait to see you guys in action. Just want to say thank you. Go Gamecocks. I'm Clint Carroll. Played baseball at Jacksonville State from 2001 to 2005 under Coach Case. And just want to say congratulations. Um, many years of service and dedication to JSU baseball. Um, job well done. Um, I learned a lot as my time there at JSU. Uh, one of the things I still take with me today is just um, learn how to work hard, have a good work ethic. And uh, also one of the things I always respected about Coach Case was just how to be a, a good family man, a good husband, a father to his children, and a man of faith. And uh, so I just want to congratulate him today. And uh, thanks for all your hard work, Coach. And I appreciate all you did for us over the years. Um, congratulations. Hey, Coach, it's Josh Bobo. First of all, I want to say congratulations. Uh, secondly, I want to say thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to play at Jacksonville State. And not only that, thank you for all the things that you taught me that transcend the game of baseball, uh, just how to be a better person and how to go about things the right way. So I appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you and congratulations. Coach Case, congratulations on having the stadium named after you. What an awesome honor and well-deserved and, and um, what, a, what a neat, neat thing. Pretty unprecedented that you're going to get a chance to coach in the stadium that's named after you, and that's a well-deserved thing also. So um, very, very proud of you and, and very, very excited for you. Thank you for everything you've done for our family and, and Jan as well. Uh, you two have impacted our lives um, like very few that we've come across, um, you know, outside of our parents and, and some others that you guys have just touched our lives so much and we're so blessed to be a part of y'all's family. Uh, hope the weekend goes great, which I know it will. I'm glad we're going to get a chance to come down and be with you and just so proud of you. We appreciate you guys so much and uh, we love you and, and just enjoy the weekend and, and everything coming your way is well deserved. Have a great weekend.